Hey yeah, what's up welcome to the video this is Stasia and in this video tutorial I'll be teaching you how do you set up an autoresponder in your gmail account now this is a very easy trick and it doesn't take more than two minutes so just follow me and you will get it anyway let's get started So first off, log into your Gmail account, and once you lo once you logged into your Gmail account, you will find a gear symbol at the top right corner of the screen um, over here. And you just click on that gear symbol, and it is actually a drop-down menu. And once you click on that, you will find a bunch of options under it. So from those options, select settings. And once you click on settings, you will be directed to the settings page. Now what you gotta do is just scroll down until you see something which says um, out of office auto auto reply. Now if you got you you this is actually the um, setting which enables you to create an autoresponder. Well anyway, first off you got you got two radio buttons over here. Now you select out, out of office auto reply on the second one, and then you will see your your today's date and in the text field beside first day now you gotta enter the subject of of your auto, auto reply message let me enter um, this this is a auto reply message and now the next text field is where you got to enter the message now let me say um okay thanks for your interest you will hear from me within 24 to 48 hours please please do not reply to this email so once you have uh, typed in your message on your subject you can also um select the text color and you can also uh, make it make the text bold and you can make it italic and you can even underline the text you can even attach a image or a link or whatnot you can do anything now once you have uh, um, finished typing your message on your subject you've got a, ch a checkbox under that which says only send response to people in my contacts now if, uh, if you want the auto reply auto responder to work only if you get a message from someone who is actually in your contacts then you gotta check check mark this one but i don't think it is useful so i i recommend you not not checking this one so once you have done everything once you have made sure everything is all right now one more thing yeah this last day is optional you need you need not check this one just uh leave it like that and finally click on the save changes button and yeah this autoresponder is now um, ready is now up and ready so let me test it now i have signed in to my another account and now let me email to the email address for which i have turned on the autoresponder so um let me do that So let me send it and yeah message has been sent and now as you could see as soon as I send the message here is a message from that email address so here is the um, the auto reply message which we have uh, um, set up for that email address as you could see so which means it is up and working anyway so that's what I wanted to teach you in this video tutorial well if you have any doubts regarding this video tutorial feel free to comment below I'll make sure that I will reply to every comment of yours and also please do like my facebook page at facebook.com slash techrush156 the link is, is in the description and you can email me for new tutorials or, or 
for any tech queries at anonymoushacker156 at the rate of gmail.com the email id is in the description too well also please do visit my website at techraj156.com so thanks for watching cheers